What's going on, NFL fans? Mitchell Rance from Chat Sports, and it's mailbag time. So every single week on Wednesday, I go live and I say, hey, give me those questions, and we're going to go ahead and answer them to the best of our abilities. So you got to use hashtag NFL, or you can go ahead and super chat to get your questions here on the show. First one's coming in from L2 underscore Cloud Z. Can Jalen Johnson and Thomas Graham Jr. be future secondary for the Bears? I mean, could they potentially be? Yeah, maybe. And I actually really like Jalen Johnson. I think he's a, he was a really solid prospect when he was first coming out. I actually thought he could be a first-round pick. But uh, I actually wanted the Raiders to take him. <laughs> but sure, I mean, for the Bears, you need to be able to find a head coach to build your young talent going forward. If you have any other questions though, around Chicago, don't be afraid to hit up Harrison Graham NFL on Twitter and on Instagram. Let's go to Robert Bruce. Hello, Mitch. Hello, Trace. Do you think Mac Jones is hitting a wall, or is he just overrated? I think Mac Jones is properly rated. I also think that we he might be a little bit overrated in the fact of all the other rookie quarterbacks this year have struggled. Mac's been the one guy that has done really well, but he's also been put in the perfect system for what he's trying to do. They have a good defense, they have a good running game, and he's been able to be safe. As soon as you ask Mac Jones to try to win games for you, that's where he's going to get in trouble. And a lot of rookie quarterbacks would get in trouble. I think he's going to be perfectly fine. He's also been going up against a little bit tougher competition. Evan Henders, you're next up here on NFL Daily. I hope I'm wrong. I just have a feeling the Raiders will pull a Jordan Love move and draft Tanner Morgan. No. If, if, if Tanner Morgan goes in the first round of the NFL draft, I will go nuts, and if the Raiders do it, I will go absolutely insane. If I'm the Raiders, if you guys want to go check out my Derek Carr replacements video on the Raiders report, the number one quarterback that I personally would want is Matt Corral, though I also wouldn't mind them taking a right tackle or an offensive tackle and then trying to get somebody maybe a little bit later on in round two. But if you're going to take somebody in round two, then have them learn behind Derek Carr. Let's go to Zachary Lynn Borgen. Y'all see Rodgers say he would consider retiring. I mean, does that surprise anybody? He even said it last offseason. Rodgers was contemplating retirement. He was contemplating being the new host of Jeopardy. Rodgers is going to do Rodgers. And as far as I'm concerned, not that I don't care about what he says, but I don't really care what Rodgers says. If he wants to play, he's going to play. And if he wants to retire, then sure, let him go ahead. Let him retire. We got, hi, my name is... Giants have to get rid of Daniel Jones. Who is a quarterback they should trade for not named Russell Wilson? Well, I don't know if you got something against Russell Wilson, but my answer would have been Russell Wilson. If you're saying not Russell, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and say either I guess either Aaron Rodgers or Deshaun Watson. If, if you can go ahead and get Watson and all his legal stuff checks out, I think for the overall value that you're going to be able to get is definitely going to be there. I was never a fan of Daniel Jones, but the answer is Wilson. But if you can't get Wilson, I guess I'm going to go ahead and say Deshaun Watson. Now, here's a good question. Will the Seahawks end up trading Russell Wilson this offseason? Why for yes, or you can go ahead and type your N for no. Me personally, I am going to type my Y for yes. Not that I think Wilson looks like he's totally checked out, but this guy wants to play for a long time on a winning team. Seattle's trending in the wrong direction, and for a team that needs a lot of draft capital, why not move on from a quarterback who's 33, going to be 34 years old, get some extra draft capital, and try to get that rebuild going. This next one's coming in from Jamie Rico 64 What is Raiders' percentage to go to playoff right in what game team's rooting for and watching this week? Well, right now, the Raiders have a 19% chance to make the playoffs, and when you look at the current AFC playoff picture here, with their record being 8-7, and seven, they do control their own destiny. So if Las Vegas beats the Colts and if they beat the Chargers, they are 100% in. In terms of who are some teams that you should be rooting for, I am going to be releasing a video on the Raiders report on Thursday. Second. Are we back? I think we're back. All right. Sorry, guys. I, I don't know what just happened there. But, uh, yeah, it's 19% right now. But if the Raiders went out, they have a chance. The only reason why the Raiders aren't in the playoff picture as it stands right now is because when you look at the Dolphins, the Ravens, the Raiders, and the Chargers all with an 8-7 and seven record, Miami gets in because of their combined record against uh, combined opponents between all four of those teams. Juan Hernandez, what's up, buddy? If the Raiders make the playoffs, who do you think we will face first? I mean, at this point, if Las Vegas makes it, I believe that they're going to end up being the seventh seed. So whoever ends up being the number two seed, which personally, if, uh, if I'm going to totally spoil my playoff projections here, 
I think the number two seed is going to end up being either Tennessee or it's going to end up being Buffalo. Could be wrong. I would rather them play Tennessee, though stopping Derrick Henry might be difficult. But also slowing down Josh Allen is not easy either. Evan Henders, what's up, man? Hey, Mitch, hope you, hope you and everyone else in the chat sports had a great Christmas. I, I mean, at least me personally, I did. And a great new year. I think Jalen Waddell should get Rookie of the Year. I, I don't 100% disagree with you. I think I actually had this conversation about who's having a better rookie season, Jalen Waddell or Jamar Chase. I mean, Waddell's got 96 grabs, 941 yards, five total touchdowns. Chase has got 68 for 1,168 yards, 10 touchdowns. It's more than likely going to go to Mac Jones because, guess what, he plays a quarterback position. It's really as simple as that. But Mac Jones up in Foxborough, I don't know if you need a sweatshirt because it's chilly up there. I lived in Boston for eight months, and man, I couldn't walk outside for most of the months that I lived up there. Now, maybe if I had one of these sweatshirts, I could. And if anybody out there needs a brand new NFL hoodie, we got you covered up to 50% off. Just go to chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie. Now, that link is going to be available in the comments. It's also going to be available in the description below. So we got all 32 teams all different sizes, and it's not just the hoodies that you see to the right of me. We got tons of them, and I mean tons of them. So if you need a new hoodie, if Santa didn't show up because you were being a naughty boy or girl, chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie. If you want to give a gift to somebody because they were a naughty boy or girl, hey, chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie. All right, let's go to this next question coming in here. What up, James? Who would you say is the most likely to be the Jaguars head coach next year? If you guys want to watch something funny, go to the Jags Twitter account right now, and every tweet that they put out just gets ratioed by a smiley face with the con like mustache. It's actually hilarious. My vote for the next Jaguars head coach, it's so difficult because I think it's one of the worst coaching jobs out there. I get it. They have Trevor Lawrence. They're going to have some money to be able to play around with, but I think it's going to end up being somebody that's a little bit of a not much, not not a no-name kind of type of guy, but someone who's just going to be able to come in, wasn't as high on other lists. I don't have a great answer for you right now. I just know I personally wouldn't want that job. Let's go to Untouchable Raider 1960. Hey, Mitchell, again, if the Raiders miss the playoffs, I think Mark and Mike should explore some trade options and call some teams to shop car thoughts. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I think if you're the Las Vegas Raiders, no matter what, you decide to move on from Derek Carr this offseason. If you can trade him, his trade value is higher now than it's ever going to be because if you wait until next year, he's going to be a free agent, and then you're not going to be able to go ahead and say, all right, yeah, we'll trade Derek Carr. So if your idea is to move on from D.C., you got to do it this year and not next season. And personally, I don't want the Raiders to extend Carr. So for that reason, I'm saying, yeah, you trade Carr, maybe get two first-round picks for him, and then uh, go that route. Let's go to Doug Blazy. Which teams are the most likely to trade for Russell Wilson? All right, so basically Russell Wilson trade destinations. We're going to be doing a lot of these videos this offseason, so stay tuned. Make sure you hit that big red button that says subscribe. For me, I'm going to go ahead and say the New York Giants are going to be up there. It wouldn't surprise me if the Cleveland Browns came a call in. Look for a team like the Raiders could be up there. The Denver Broncos could be up there. I know Philly has shown some interest, though. I've been actually pretty impressed by what I've seen so far from Jalen Hurts. The Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be a team to keep in mind. Carolina Panthers are going to be a team to keep in mind. So off the top of my head, hopefully that's enough teams for a potential Russell Wilson trade. Now, if Wilson is traded, there's going to be sirens going off. There's going to be all sorts of craziness happening here. And one of the things that I love that Chat Sports does is reactionary videos we go live and if as soon as the trade rumors start popping we're going to be making russell wilson trade destinations and if he is traded i guarantee you right now we are going live here on this channel so make sure you guys hit that big red button that says sub if you're looking for other reasons to su subscribe we're free the more subs we get the more content we're going to be able to make here we go live at least three times a week if we don't get breaking news and oh yeah videos every single day let's go to ben p do you think Davis Mills is the answer for Houston? No. I mean, Davis Mills, I will give him credit. He has played better of late. He actually had a halfway decent game this past week up against the Chargers with not much talent around him. I mean, Brandon Cooks didn't even play in that game, but there's nobody in their right mind that thinks Davis Mills is the answer to Houston. That would be a major problem. Let's go to Danny. If my Carolina Panthers draft a quarterback this year, do you think we will be stuck with Rule for another three years if he's not fired after this season? 
I don't like saying stuck with Matt Rule is the right thing. Personally, I like Matt Rule. I, I think he's a good head coach. I just don't really think that a lot of the moves that Carolina have made have worked for injury reasons, for other reasons as well. But, I mean, you just paid Chris McCaffrey, who's basically your entire offense, a lot of money, and he hasn't been able to stay on the field. I'm not going to put that against Matt Rule. Now, sure, he ended up trading for Sam Darnold, which was definitely a big-time question mark, but – I like Matt Rule. I also would not be surprised if Rule wanted to leave Carolina and go back to college football because there's absolutely certain coaches who do much better in college football, and Matt Rule's going to end up being one of those guys. Let's go to Benjamin Henry. Do you think the Bills can win the division and go into the play, go in to make the Super Bowl? Can they win the division? Absolutely. Can they make the Super Bowl? Absolutely. I mean, Josh Allen, he's going to be one of these guys where, I mean, he's – arguably the most important player to his team, his ability to run. That does scare me, though. The fact that Buffalo cannot run the football with their running backs, the more and more it comes into the playoffs, closing out games, I would definitely be a little bit concerned about that. But can Buffalo do it? Yes, they, they absolutely can. Now, I don't know about y'all. I am still really excited. I was a little bit bummed that there's no Thursday night football games anymore. But there is Sunday night football, and this gives me something to do on Sunday night. So out of these two teams right here, I want you to go ahead and predict the score. The last time these guys played each other, Minnesota won 34-31. to 31. I personally see Green Bay getting a little bit of revenge, and I'm hoping that's what it is because that's the, the bet I ended up making. But go ahead, predict the score for Sunday Night Football. Packers up against the Minnesota Vikings. Let's go to Blake Augustine. Since Tyler Huntley has played well, should the Ravens extend Lamar Jackson? So Huntley played well for like a game or two, and I get it. The one game he had four total touchdowns. Lamar hasn't played in three weeks, and it sounds like Lamar is going to be able to play this year. As far as I'm concerned, I think the Huntley experiment is fun, and if you can trade him, if you can move on from him in the offseason and you get picks, cool. But I'm not going to let Lamar Jackson walk out the door. I mean, if that's what you're implying, I don't know how much money you were going to give Jackson before all this other stuff happened, but... If you don't want to pay him, there's going to be so many other teams out there that are like, yeah, we'll, we'll pay Lamar Jackson $40 million a year. Let's go to Benjamin Henry. Tyree Kill to the Bills. Not going to happen. <laughs> uh, I mean, far too often, team, I mean, if you're the Kansas City Chiefs, you're never going to trade anybody to Buffalo. Same way if you're the Bills, you should never trade anybody to Kansas City because as long as Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen are the quarterbacks of those two teams, those are going to probably be the betting favorites to win the AFC every single year. So for that, no, it's not going to happen. Let's get a, go to Billy Homan. Should Denver pick in first round? So are you asking me, should the Denver Broncos pick somebody in the first round? If they have a pick, yeah, they, they should. Denver has five picks, I believe, in the top 100 of this year's upcoming draft. I guess the only other thing I would say is if you believe that you can get Aaron Rodgers, if you believe that you can get Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson, or one of these top quarterbacks, then you decide to trade that first-round pick because I really, truly believe Denver is a quarterback away with that defense, with that running game, with all their skill positions. They're a QB away from being really legitimate, and if you want to compete in the AFC West, you're going to need a quarterback. So if you can get one of those top guys, then you decide to move on from that first-round pick. Now, if I didn't get to your question, you can either blame Trace behind the screen, you can blame yourself for not using hashtag NFL, or you can just hit me up. On IG at Mitchell Ryan 365 I know the new year is right around the corner. I'm going to have a few days off, so if anybody wants to ask me, maybe you're in your fantasy title game, maybe you just have a question that needs to be answered, I got you covered. Please go ahead, hit me up on IG at Mitchell Ryan 365 Now, this past week, I was able to visit my family in the 570, and anytime you get to go home, anytime you get to visit people, I think it's always an amazing thing. So I want to give a special shout-out to my fam who's watching right now in the 570. And if you guys want to shout-out your area code, please go ahead and do so. Let's go to Boris Flaherty. What up, Boris? The Saints need a quarterback. I never want to read the Ian, <laughs> Ian book again. Thoughts on bringing back Teddy Bridgewater this offseason? Well, with the, uh, the issue that New Orleans has is they're going to be over like $60 million in negative cap space this offseason. And if you don't want to trade for a top quarterback because you don't have the picks or if you're just trying to play it safe and find a cheaper option, Teddy Two Gloves I think would actually be a halfway decent guy. He's somebody who's shown that he can win in New Orleans before. Be conservative. But my question would be, would you rather go conservative with Teddy Bridgewater or would you go back with Jameis Winston? Because as far as I'm concerned, the Saints were 5-2, and two and Jameis looked pretty damn good, and uh, he was doing it without Michael Thomas. So I like Bridgewater if you want to play it safe and if you want to try to save some money, but if Teddy's asking for over $10 million, I'll, I'll go ahead and say no. 